Oh, this is a convenience store. Okay, <laughs> City of Vernon special meeting. We workshop follow in uh, the special meet for Monday, June 3rd, 2024. Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing us to be here tonight and for the members of the community to be able to be here as well. We ask that you guide the council as always to do the best for the city and the community that they can. God, lead and protect us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Okay, so are they all in agreement that we're going to open these and deal with it at the next workshop as far as scoring? Is that award the bid at the next award the bid at the next meeting? Waiting okay. meeting, yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. For that, oh Lord. First one is Very BBA, BBA design. Yeah, BBA design. Do I have to say what's that? They don't do a price in this yeah, one. It's just a yeah. They don't do a price. It's just their qualifications. I'm guessing superior with somebody here. Yeah, I don't think I think we need to associate this region. And this is municipal engineering services in it. How many did the other one send? Because I have to have one to keep in the office. Is there any the request, one. Mr. Gary? Uh, I think we say seven on the see you look. look at it. So that's all we have on this. You don't have to be here. And we look to the right here, which you need. Ma'am. Say what? But I could be not going to be here. It's okay. I just have to, I can't have to keep one with the okay. cop of permanent yeah. cover. So, so we're taking number Mr. two off. Mr. said I can have him. Fair. Repeat it. I think it needs to Does anybody have anything on this? Oh, so it'll be on the meeting agenda. Okay, with that, I'm going to close the special meeting and open up our workshop. Number one, update from the mayor. You got to the driveway, it looks good. Well, I'm about to request you sign for those out there to go chill in this way or some. Some more signs on both sides. What's what? What all do y'all want so I can order? Where? For the driveway. It's the driveway. You know, like slow I children at play or something. I got children at play. Something. We ordered extra then, right? What right all you got? Come on, go. Okay. Children at play. Not the new drive. Just yeah. Oh, well, we're having this thing. You know, you can get that sign. Cheers. They said because there's one over there already. But it's further back on North Hill Road before you get to the city limits. Mm -hmm. There's a sign there now. That speed um, one too. Yeah. yeah. It's the speed limit sign, so whatever we had, like we something, we could probably that. get that right. sign put there. But you need something bigger than yeah. if we're having a time then. But then just go down long before you get to. I was thinking for the 4th of July event, we need to 
definitely have sheriff's department out there because people are not going to know yet where the new drive is mm -hmm. and that way they can direct traffic i know we have to pay them so yeah Bad way, bad place for a driveway. That's right on that hill. Mm -hmm. that song about you need it. Yeah. All right, so I'll call, reach out to them. Okay. Mr. Gary, go ahead. You might want to call the sheriff's department for that tournament too. For the what? Tournament. Okay. It's gonna be busy. Yeah, that's, uh, I think Nikki was already going to do that, but I'll check with her. 15 to the 16th or something like Yeah, the, the softball tournament, the district tournament, see what we're hosting this year. Thanks, so thanks, Friday. Mm -hmm. I'll be out late, so. The political board still bring that sign up to the ship. You know, that sign yes, has that's farther back. The political board of gym. We'll go out for bid on it. I'll talk to a guy, uh, look at the panels and know the best way to do it is be that, like Travis had it, then be that, get away with the panels up. That way you have two prices to compare which way y'all want to go. I imagine since Travis turned that price in, it's been a year. I know the coffer dog went way up. Uh, but, We'll advertise with that, that sort of council. Um, I'll ask, while they're doing that, do y'all want to find out about, since they'll be there and separating the power, about getting the power to the sides building? Or not? We well, have that building sit, yeah. sitting there vacant that could be utilized. Yeah, well, used. Well, the DRE, I mean, we might as well worry about it. may just be cheaper having them here working and separating. I just have to tell them, be that, just add on price okay. that we may take it out. Okay. Traverse Drive, that's the guy that's running the uh, campground up there. I talked to code enforcement. He sent himself to us to. Uh, if we wanted to cease, it would cease operations. They might have this up to us. Really, right? The attorney said, really don't understand why, because it's this up to us. It hasn't been through a land use change yet, and that comes under account. But uh, they track the cars. They got a deer camera up. They track the cars. This not this last weekend. The weekend over one day, it was 40 cars come through there. And uh. I know they've been, they've cut trees on the creek and uh, I'll cut, should have contracted uh, Northwest Florida Water Management issue, but I forgot it, but I will do it. So, are we going to continue to let, let him operate or? Well, I thought at, what in the, what was it? The rest restaurant and the hotel. Oh well, they were going to send a certified letter, but um, we don't know what they've done or what communication they've had. And Janet at Code said <clears throat> it'll probably come. She doesn't know either, but it would probably come to the. It's a legal issue of telling them to cease and desist because they can only do so much. I have no idea. That's something she wished it. <clears throat> because we don't have. Um, our own code enforcement mechanism. Mm -hmm. Really, our only option is to rely on the state statute for nuisance abatement, which is a civil lawsuit. And we're, it meets the criteria for nuisance abatement. This is the most expensive and lengthy and troublesome way to shut this business down, but it's probably your only real option at this point. Because um, are we? I'm just fairly certain that the county's not going to do anything. I'll reach out. Anything. I'll reach back out and ask her to talk with the county attorney and see if they just set up a meeting with us and go out there looking at them face to face. They say exactly yes or exactly no. Then bring it back to y'all. Michelle, do you have any input? I mean, I'm happy to reach out to the county attorneys. Um, as well, I'm kind of surprised that the county wouldn't take this up. Like I said, from a, just from a land use standpoint, yeah. they're 
Okay. And the county does handle that for us? I think that, plan I think that <laughs> the planning committee, not the planning department, but the planning committee will help fight that battle, but they've not made it to them. Like, because they're not applying for anything, so it's not gone before them. Yeah. Right. So that's kind of the situation. I could reach out to the planning committee and see. And it would still come under the county's code enforcement. Yeah. Either they have an apply for a development order, like that's in the, the code enforcement officer would handle. Would you they have a citation? The, 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 the county department. does, but, and, and the you people there anything. have not complied with anything they've asked right. at this point. I mean, even if we have to reimburse the county for the cost you know, related to enforcement, that's probably still going to be a lot cheaper than named. And we do, the decimal meter did come in and it records, so we can do that for the noise. So do y'all want to go ahead and look at adopting a noise ordinance? I had emailed a couple samples. It's been, it's been a while emailed. back. I had, they were in the back of town a while back, yeah. Well, in order to, in order to use that, we, we would have to have an no ordinance in place. Yeah. Oh, I gotta say, if we let that guy do it, then they go make that. Well, I knew. That's, that's, he that's just it. He's down there right now doing it. He's not They've been, been doing it. Nothing. He's just doing it. Be all down the street before you know it. Well, and I mean, it's not just the year. noise. I mean, as, as upsetting as that is to the people that live there, it's all the other things that that are. And doing. we have photos of heavy equipment in the water. I mean, yeah, I don't see why DEP can't. You don't do anything that. about that, me either. Yeah. That's their job. Tell that, you the truth. That comes out of water management now. Well, no, what about it? Buying up everything on that bridge. That's DEP. When it comes to anywhere, there's like water, like the creek or wetlands or all that mm -hmm. stuff all under there. So everything is in as well, then. That's what I'm seeing around these wetlands. That's B-E-B. Did I see somebody raise their hand a while ago? I thought I did. No, but I got, I got some suggestions for you. First place to start is just like Mr. Owen said, is water management. They're the first ones to go in. They'll call in DEP if they need to. Um, but you've got to you've got to call them. You've got to give them the complaint. And then the other thing is, is hasn't he built some buildings out there without building permits? Yes. They've, the they've been code. notified of all that. The county's been notified of all that, and DEP was called also. Water, man water management is going to be your hardest one. They're, they're going to be the, the most stringent. Oh, they'll be the one to push it. Yep. And I know that he's been in front of the county at one of the BOCC meetings um, for the same thing you are talking about. So I know that that's, they're, they're looking into it. I just don't know at what extent they're still going looking at it. Well, I don't know either because if I'm not mistaken, we've been discussing this for a, a year. Mm -hmm. And the Facebook advertising and all that's been going on for at least a year. They've been in business. And they came before us and said it was just canoes when it's, you can clearly just go on the internet and see what all they are. Yeah, they're doing like um, thin breakfast or, yeah. yeah. So the ROs, so they should be collecting taxes as well. If they're not collecting the taxes, now you got the revenue service involved in it. True. Depends on how hard you want to hit them. Well, they're doing it through Airbnb, and Airbnb probably does that mm -hmm. when you schedule with Airbnb. Airbnb pays the state taxes. I don't know how they do it, but they would collect yeah. the tax at the time of reservation. Mm -hmm. Just the avenues of the district. Now, I, I talked with the attorney some. We need to call it by the grant and get the one that just passed this year. It's so coming next year on May the 10th. What that'll do, I'll let her explain to you what it is doing. Yeah. I've been asking um, since I got here in 2013 for y'all to modify your ordinances, which is where we take you know, all of your historic ordinances and um, we generally we use an outside company uh, and we 
review all the ordinances and we organize them into um, a code that's then published. Um, it can be published on your website, it can be published on the publisher's website. Um, it makes it really easy for the public to be able to you know, find the laws of the city of Vernon. Um, but it is a really expensive process and it's a very lengthy process. So it generally takes about a year um, to codify and your cost is gonna be $20,000, maybe a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, there is a, um, it's not DEO anymore, it's um, what's the name of the Department of the Commerce, or ours? Um, they, yeah, uh, Florida Commerce. They yeah. put out a technical assistance grant every year, we just missed the cutoff. Yeah. Um, I, this I year, looked up the date, so I think it would be May, it'll open May of next year. Yeah. Um, but that is, you know, an option to consider um, for next year. And maybe look at trying to put that in your budget. Um, like I said, it, it's a very expensive process. Uh, you can put it out for bid. You can, you know, there are multiple legal publishers out there for free to use, but I don't think you're gonna come in any less than 20,000 at this point. But it is something that really needs to happen because as a part of that review, all of your ordinances are, are reviewed against, you know, state statutes and we take out all of the statute, the um, statutory preemption, that's where the state has said, no, we're gonna <coughs> only regulate this. It takes out all the outdated provisions and really just thinks um, it, it's, it's really helpful. It's just something we've never had um, in Vernon. I've, yeah, uh, there, I think there are quite a few of our ordinances um, that, <laughs> that we, yeah, are, we couldn't enforce you know, anyone. They're so old. I'm sure the state is down the way with a lot of on some of the ones that I've read. But that was on the charter as well? Well, the charter would be incorporated into the code, um, but we, I mean, your charter is pretty. 1925? It's, yeah. <laughs> but that's still going to have to, we, the charter still got to go out for the vote. The charter has to go to a referendum, yes. And if you want to start talking about that again, you know, I drafted a proposed new charter based on work y'all had a committee once they were 17 y'all yeah. had a committee that came together multiple times and made recommendations you know for that charter but we just never got it to to vote it's not something to think about well i'd like to have a copy of that because uh, that was before me and i don't know if anybody it was before a lot of us on here and there may be some things in there that we want to change right now. It's been like that long ago since it's third. While y'all are talking about that, um, there probably needs to be some updates to like the employee handbook and different things like that. If Michelle is looking at that, could she look at that too? Because we have a few things in there, just like our job application that can get us in a pinch. Because um, it needs a little bit of wording done. Mm -hmm. If you would have them ready for the next workshop. Okay. One of the issues I think that wasn't really heavily discussed um, in the proposed charter amendments was uh, your form of government. Mm -hmm. And one thing that y'all are, are lacking here is some kind of administration. You know, in 1925, when Vernon was incorporated, um, you could operate a city just fine with just a clerk and the public workers director. Um, your mayor had a lot of authority at that time. Um, in the 1960s, the state took away most of the authority of the municipal mayors, except in um, Miami Day. Miami Day's there, gets to, <laughs> they get to do their own thing. But the rest of us um, had most of that authority stripped. And so your mayor became basically just a figurehead. Um, but you don't have anybody here on a day-to-day -day basis that's really any kind of kind of administration or management for the whole city. And um, that's really something that I think needs to be heavily considered. Obviously, there's a lot of consideration that goes into that from a budgetary standpoint. And then administrators gonna be paid more than your city clerk for your you know, public works director. And you have to find a way to, to make that work. But it is really, really difficult to efficiently run a municipality the way that Vernon is organized. Right now you have two 
main employees and they answer to five different people. Mm-hmm. And that's and y'all can only come together and you know, each one of you individually can't give any direction to the clerk or the public works director. Y'all can only act when you're together in this room and that that's that's a tough way to run the city. Oh, we want to think that. But that's something that really has to be done through the charter amendment. Then you have to find money for that. Mm-hmm. And you have, say, yeah, you have to find it all. But I will send the drafts from 2017 to Candace and she can distribute that so y'all can be looking at it. Mr. Gary, do you have anything else? Cemetery. I'll probably need to let the attorney address that one too. Been to the courthouse, got the legal description. Uh, they don't, when they survey, they don't get the survey. The courthouse don't. They just get a legal description. So it's, can't take two surveys and don't rule out and see where the mark should be. Wow. Gary's mark, or New Bomber's mark, so wherever Gary said it was, our mark's over there by the store. So I'll let the Michelle address that one. So at this point, I'm going to need y'all to um, retain another surveyor, a licensed surveyor, to work with me on this. There's, there's some, I think, fairly obvious discrepancies in these descriptions. But in order to go to court, I have to have an expert that you know can give an actual opinion as to. Like we have to go back in time. He has to examine the markers that are out there, and then sometimes they have to work you know, from even further out, they have to find other markers and work their way back in to try to determine what's called the original survey. And generally speaking, the original surveys, boundaries are going to control even if that survey was in error. You know, today with GPS, we can get really, really, really accurate on these descriptions and locating the descriptions. But I think that's gonna be an issue that, as a lawyer, I I can't give that opinion. I have to have a licensed surveyor, they can. And if I remember correctly, the person that has previously worked on the cemetery was not in the last sentence. Well, we have um, the one I'm looking with now for the sportsplex to finish that up. I, if he's interested, I'll talk. I mean, he's very reasonably priced under where we even had to get a bid, you know. So I can speak to him and just see. Show up. You have Gibson? Yes, yeah, sir. It'll be your best bet. That's all that you gotta see of. If it's a seal on it. You go come off state there and do all those kind of I went to it over there. That's all I've got. Does anybody else have anything? Mm-hmm. Can I have a motion? Yeah, I got one. Johnson. Yes, sir. Well, they won't tear down that old library in front of my house. When's the band room? He's talking band about room. the band room. No, that's the old library. Well, it was in your well, it time. Was <laughs> 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 it was a ghost band. You were there with me, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought we, that was we was going to have that done at one time or something a long time back. Council voted not to, but that's probably been four or five years ago. I sure would like to have that thing removed. It's to have. If that fall out. It yeah. is. Well, financially, that where we're we at. Yes, we probably, I think it would probably cost. Fifteen to twenty thousand to tear it down. Is it more? I think that was the problem last time. It was something about the business. Yeah. It's got to invest business. Yeah. That's what they were saying. And they have to budget for that. It might could come. I'll have to find out. Thanks for what things we can use that yeah. other money for, but and we do have to see it the CD also if y'all need it to. I mean, if it would come to liability anyway, it's a bad It's gotten bad. It looks really bad. But we've got to do something at the science building because there's no telling what um, all's going on in there. Like, 
you know, people hanging out, doing whatever. I think they've cut a lot. I think, I think they bust the locks off when periodically. I think had dead bolts or something. The last time, I want to say, Matt, I want to say Matt went in there because he was wanting to use it for training for fire for their fire department and stuff. And it spray painted it. And I haven't walked out there to see because I haven't had the upper. I've been by myself, but I'll check. check it. Yeah, yeah it's not locked. Locked up. But we might need to put something besides just kind of yeah. on yeah. if they're going to keep, you know. So what did we decide for the uh, Traverse Drive? Mr. Gary's going to talk to Code, and Michelle's going to talk to the county attorney. You still talk. And then on Diddy Bow. She went out there. The flood water come on up and to give out for a while. If nobody has anything else, can I have a motion to adjourn? Hey, McNeil, can you adjourn? That second. I see. I third. Any discussions? All in favor? Uh, I, 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 I,